see my feet okay right down this area? Yes. Okay, so to practice climbing technique, we want a good foot foundation with these front points. So I'm gonna just use my hands, you know, my fist to kind of keep me more so upright. Looking down, hips up. Getting that front points in, secondary points in. Feet are perpendicular to the angle of the slope. Lean over onto that foot so I can stand up. Come over to the left, kick it in. Now I can let right go, everything's locked and I'm standing comfortably. That's ideal so that you don't have to pull so much with your feet or with your hands. Now to move, okay, we're gonna bring our body weight over to the foot that's gonna keep us stable. Bring the other foot more towards the midline of the body, weight it, stand up while the other foot comes up out to the side other foot goes out to the side now I'm right back in this nice triangular position this is the position of balance so we go from a position of balance to a position out of balance back to balance make sense yeah every time you want to go upward it's a lot easier for the body to have the foot come right in the center to really push up. If you're trying to push up from the side, it's a lot more physically difficult and you'll end up having to pull harder with your hands. Hands forward on the knuckles. I'm trying not to use the... Oh, cool. That one's gonna need to be better. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Nice. Now, traverse here towards me. Traverse towards me. See this little ledge? Yep. Side to side. Good. Side to side. Awesome. Good. You're doing a good job of keeping your feet perpendicular. Now head straight down. Yep, and really, when you're going down, typically you're gonna have to kick maybe just a little bit harder. Get your left hand on the wall. Yep, have that on the knuckles. That way you have the balance, yep. Straighten those legs, drop the heels. Yes, good. Okay, your toes are down too much. You need to raise them up. Yep. Straighten the legs. Good. Hand on. Good. Okay, that you got to swing that thing like you mean it. Just a little bit more wrist flick. That's decent. It's still too wobbly, yeah. so mm -hmm. spin it a little bit more before you pull out that spindle. Good, okay, now go ahead and use the spindle. And stop just for a sec. It's cracking here. It's okay. You see, open, move your hand. You see how it's gold and then it's silver? Yeah, just Don't grab the gold. just grab the gold, because if you grab, see my finger? Mm -hmm. See that thing right there? I obviously need to replace these, right? Yeah. You know why that's happening? Mm -hmm from so much of this and your glove will get caught in between see, the gold and the silver so just grab the gold if you can that's pretty good resistance i don't think it's hollow yet no it seems to be good and you can use an axe to get rid of that kind of move this over a little bit and then just kind of use the use the pick picks a little better there you go nice, nice and flush. yeah nice
Yeah. So that's that's fine. You can see from the side here that the shaft's out just a touch, but mm -hmm. it's actually not. That's that's fine. I can break more of this ice. I mean, you could, but let's let's just pretend you're leading, right? Okay. Uh, and like the difference in strength between that with the shaft sticking just barely sticking out mm -hmm. is only because that chunk of ice broke off. Yeah. It's yeah. flush down below. Right. If you used your extra energy on lead right mm -hmm. to clean that out you're probably just wasting energy because the reality is that you're not really improving the strength by okay. enough to mm -hmm. waste your time good job thank you that's so amazing good Get that left foot stemming back out. Yep. Good. Nice job. Awesome. Start moving towards this tree. You see that tree right there? You can hook that tree. Make it real simple for yourself with your left tool hook it right around the back side of that nice and low there you go start making as much movement right up over the top off of those as you can because i even just let go of that axe and grab the base of that with my with my left hand keep no 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 the base of it don't reach high or that thing will lever and snap. Grab lower. Grab lower. Yes, all at the base. Good. The reason why I did that, remember, grab low. Yep. Yeah, is because the snow is such junk. If you grab the top of that thing, it will break. Those little guys don't uh, do well with grabbing high. Good. Nice work. Wow. Shan. Crushed it.